gotta go now, gotta go Swerving in my whip, can't slow down Driving fast with cars, boy, I'm on the road now Automatic star, my vid take a call now Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to the Rose Session Central I'm the Nigerian Nemesis and in today's video we are actually going to be pushing on the ladder with the Lava Hound Balloon combination. The reason why I'm still using this deck right now is because the Executioner Tornado combo has gone down severely. So now it's time for us to bring back the Balloon, make it great again and as all you guys do know playing a Lava Hound Balloon combination is so hard to stop in double elixir time. But before we do get into the video, I do want to start off with our usual question of the day coming from Crazy GAGT, and he asked me, what is my favorite emote in Clash Royale right now? And my answer to that question is easily the crying emote because it is so hilarious. If you wait for the perfect moment and play it when there's like no sound happening in the game, it just absolutely pisses off your opponents and makes things hilarious. So that's my favorite emote. So in the comment section down below, go ahead and let me know what is your favorite emote and we can talk about that. But here in this first game, we are up against Bullcap OEY from Kadiri Dragon. So let's see here. He's got Elite Barbarians and a Rage coming there on the left hand side. So Goblin Gang going down right here to distract just for a little bit. And hopefully those skeletons that do come out of the tombstone can help us as well. But he managed to get so much damage off. Left tower is down to 756. So let's go ahead and take that damage right back with a balloon. Mega minion and minions push here on the left hand side. Zap is coming up in just a second as well. We won't even need it. The mega minion and the three elixir minions did a great job at cleaning up that minion horde. And it actually looks like we are going to take that first tower of the game in a great counter attack. And now we have to make sure we do get ready for his Elite Barbarians because they will be coming back. So what we have to do there is play our Tombstone in the center and then play our Goblin Gang a little bit off to the side just to make sure that he doesn't get some insane log value and end up taking our tower. He's going to go with an Elixir Collector there on the left, which is actually a very, very bold move. I'm surprised by that one right there. So what we are going to do is get our Tombstone down here on the right and start to get some Skeletons to trickle down to that right hand tower and maybe even get some damage. There he goes with the Elite Barbarians once again. Goblin Gang going down, but he does have those Fire Spirits. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to let that play out. If he ends up taking our tower, he takes our tower. But actually, we have plenty of Skeletons left over and they did a great job right there. Let's get our Fireball down on top of this Minion Horde. Unfortunately, the Mega Minion did die and we missed one Minion. So that will get a couple of shots off onto our Lava Hound. And he's actually going to use a Zap there, but I'm okay with that. We managed to get some great chip damage off and it's not even double elixir time yet. So once we do get our Lava Hound Balloon pushed down, we just have to make sure we have our Fireball prepared for the Minion Horde and we should be in business. So Lava Hound going down on the right, he's actually going to play another Elixir Collector. So I wonder what kind of deck he has outside of the Elite Barbarians because right now all I'm seeing is Elite Barbarian Rage combinations. He's going to log there, so let's get our gang down on the right hand side to bring them over even further. And that's going to counter the Elite Barbarians nice and easy. And now we finally have enough to play our Balloon. Let's get our Fireball down right here on top of the Minion Horde. Fireball is going to take that out, so we should be good to go onto that tower. He's going to bring out another thing of Elite Barbarians, but we don't have our Tombstone up in time. So we're going to let that play out and place some minions on the tower just to make sure we don't get 3 crown. And these Lava Pups will do a great job, as well as the Death Damage, to take out that Elixir Collector. So now we have another Lava Hound started up here in the back center. He's going to play a Minion Horde there on the left hand side. Nice and early. He's coming back in hot with the Elite Barbarian. So Goblin Gang going down. Let's get our Mega Minion down. Let's go ahead and zap all this as well. And hopefully we don't have to use our Fireball here because those minions are basically dead. And now with that Lava Hound out in front, all we have to do is get our Balloon down behind it and we can easily get a 3 crown. So let's go ahead and get the Balloon down. Get some minions down. Oh, actually that's the end of the game. I didn't even notice we had the second tower down. So easy first W with a Lava Hound Balloon deck. This combo is very strong and still so good in the current meta. The reason why I prefer the Fireball Zap version over the Lightning Arrows version is because of Three Musketeers. Lightning is a good combination to the Three Musketeers if you hit all three of them at the same time. But if they split it up and you don't get that great value, it just becomes way too heavy to defend against like the Battle Ram and the Bandit that come underneath. So Fireball Zap is definitely a lot easier to use. So here in this second game, we're up against Leo. Let's split our Goblin Gang here in the back. He has minions coming there. On the right hand side, so let's see what we want to do next. Let's go ahead and get our Mega Minion prepared as well. You don't really want to play your Lava Hound too early in this deck because if you play your Lava Hound, it's in the air and you don't really have much to counter since it is 7 Elixir and then you end up getting screwed over. So let's go ahead and play our Mega Minion or play our Lava Hound at the bridge and the Mega Minion should be able to quickly take out that Valkyrie. He actually does have an Inferno Tower, which I'm okay with because the Inferno Tower 
is great at taking down the Lava Hound, but the thing is, the Lava Hound ends up spawning the Lava Puffs, which distract the Inferno Tower for so long, and that just gives the Balloon time to get to the tower, so we should be okay in this battle. He's got a Bomber coming there on the right-hand side, so I'm thinking Royal Giant. Actually, he has a regular Giant, so we have to make sure we do take out that Bomber before we play anything else, otherwise he will do so much damage. Take down our Skeletons, take down our Goblin Gang, so everything's going to be looking pretty good. But we don't have any cards left to play, so Goblin Gang is down on the map. Let's try and get the Mega Minion down as well. He's going to arrow down our Goblin Gang. Hopefully these Skeletons and the Mega Minion will be enough to take down the Giant. But the Mega Minion actually got distracted by those Minions, and he's going to play another Inferno Tower. So we basically just sent our Lava Hound to its death right there for no reason at all whatsoever. But we are almost at double elixir time, so hopefully we can get there and be able to take down his towers. We don't have enough Lava Pups alive right there. Otherwise, I would have sent in the Balloon and probably gotten a little bit of damage off onto the tower. I'm still waiting for him to make the next move while we do fill up on Elixir here. Let's get some minions down in the back right. He's got a Valk coming to counter the minions. Let's get our to counter. <laughs> to go down the same lane, you can't really counter the minions with a Valkyrie. Let's go ahead and get a Tombstone down as well in the center. And he should be playing the Giant pretty soon. There he goes with the Giant on the right hand side. We are going to get some Goblins down in the back right. And hopefully be able to get up a build, build up a big push with the Lava Hound. So here we go. We're going to play the Lava Hound in the back right. He's going to send on that Lightning. Great Lightning taking down our Mega Minion and taking out our Tombstone. So we've definitely got our work cut out for us. I do have a Fireball if I need it for this Bomber, but I don't think we should. Here we go with the Minions. They will be able to clean up the Bomber. He's going to throw down some arrows. Let's get our Balloon down finally for the first time in this game. Goblin Gang going down to hopefully take down the Giant, but he managed to take our first tower. Let's go ahead and zap this tower down real quick. And hopefully the Balloon can take it out and move on towards that tower. We've got plenty to go for a counter push. He will drop off a nice Lightning, but we have so many supporting troops. Let's get another Balloon down right here. That should be able to make its way all the way to the tower. We might not even have even needed the balloon there, but I have to make sure we did take it out so we can focus on overtime and hopefully get a nice push going down here on the left-hand side. But now we do have the Lava Hound going in and he's got his giant coming in. We actually almost got a lot of damage off onto his king tower. That is all the way down to 2252. So not too bad for a counter push. Let's go ahead and throw a fireball down. We might even be able to catch some of those minions. We will. So that was a very, very good fireball there. We've got our mega minions. Let's play some minions now as well. Get our Balloon down for the 3 crown rush, hopefully that can get all the way to the tower and we should be good there, so Mega Minion going down, do we get a drop off, I got my Zap ready, he's going to play a very very good lightning spell there, so he does have lightning, I don't even know if he's going to come in for the W here, or if he's going to continue to lightning down our Balloon whenever he gets the chance, so let's play a Lava Hound now, get our minions down as well, Mega Minion will get a couple of swings off on the left hand tower, and the Lava Hound will get almost to that tower, he's got the Inferno Tower and the Lightning to defend, so I don't think we're going to be able to push through for a 3 crown, and it looks like he's content with just picking up a draw here. So with 10 seconds left, I don't think we're going to make it all the way over there. I don't even believe he played his Giant one time here in Double Elixir because he was very, very scared and he knew good and well that the Lava Hound deck is the best deck when it comes to 3 crown rushes. So we're going to take a draw there. So what we're going to do is hop into one more final battle and hopefully we can get over 4,400 trophies in this last battle with a good matchup. Here we go, hopping into the final battle up against RTFD8604 from Legends. Let's see if his game style is as good as his name, or at least as good as his clan. We've got the Tombstone in our starting hand, as well as the Balloon, Minions, and the Mega Minions. So we're going to start with a Tombstone here, since the Tombstone does a great job at countering the Fire Spirits from the Furnace. And that's going to be a very, very good trade for us. But either way, we're going to start off with a Lava Hound now to go on and face the Furnace. He's got a Baby Dragon coming there. Luckily for us, the Mega Minion does win a 1v1 situation with the Baby Dragon, so we will have a nice little counter push. But with the Baby Dragon, let's see what else, what else he decides to play. I'm not really too sure what kind of deck he's running. He's got minions coming up now. The Mega Minion is going to quickly take care of that Baby Dragon and hopefully move on to take care of those minions. Let's play some minions of our own. He has Barbarian, so definitely a very, very defensive deck with Barbarian's Furnace. Minion, so he might be running Giant or Royal Giant. We will see here in just a second, but we managed to do a great job at taking down those Barbarians, and those Minions are going to go down as well. So Goblin Gang coming up here in the back left side. We've got our Tombstone ready for action, just in case he does decide to play another Furnace, which he should play on the same side. So Tombstone is going down just because I don't want to waste any Elixir. And here we go. We've got the oh, he's got a Royal Giant exactly, just like I expected. So we're going to play a Lava Hound. And hopefully our minions and Mega Minion will be able to counter the Royal Giant and then create a nice little counter push for us to go all the way to the tower since he does only have Barbarians for defense. 
That'll be very good for us. So here we go. We're going to get our Mega Minion down right here behind the Lava Hound. And the Skeletons will accumulate as well and help to take down that level 13 Royal Giant, which is so good. So heavy. So here we go. Balloon going down towards that tower now. The Lava Hound will soak up some of those Fire Spirits. He has a Lightning as well. So it seems that everybody is running Lightning and they are just stopping our Balloon in its tracks each and every single time. So that is kind of annoying, but I think we're going to be okay, especially up against an RG deck. And it's a very heavy deck at that. So let's get some minions down right here behind the Baby Dragon. Get our Tombstone down once again and then get right back to our Lava Hound push. He's going to play that Mega Minion there in the center. So Lava Hound is now down in the back left. He doesn't have his Mega Minion, so he's going to only have his Baby Dragon for air defense. So our Mega Minion is going to take that out, and we should be onto that tower, hopefully, if that Lightning does not get into our way. So what we're going to do here instead is play the Balloon and the Minions on the right, so it definitely worked out. He played his Tombstone way too close to the center. The Minions will help to be able to clean up those Minions, but the Balloon still didn't make it all the way to the tower. Either way, we still have a very, very healthy Lava Hound. So I'm going to force in another Lava Hound so that the Lava Hound tanks for the pups. And actually, our Lava Hound did a great job there, distracting his Mega Minion. We've got double Mega Minion on his side of the map. Let's get down a Balloon as well. So double Mega Minion, a healthy Lava Hound, a Balloon. We might be able to take this tower right here. He's going to throw down another Lightning. But with so many Lava Pups, a Mega Minion, and Minions on the map, he is not going to have enough Elixir to defend. That Baby Dragon does come down and comes in clutch very, very nicely for him there. But we did manage to get so much damage onto his tower. He is now down to 1059. We've got another Lava Hound working towards that tower. We're going to play a Mega Minion on top of his Royal Giant. Get some Tombstones down so that we can get some Skeletons to spawn out of there and defend against the Royal Giant as well. Let's go ahead and Fireball down these Minions because we want our Lava Hound to stay alive for as long as possible. Our Skeletons will go down to the, or to the uh, Fire Spirits that did come out of that Furnace. We've got the Mega Minion and the three Elixir Minions doing so much damage. His tower is down to 135 and now the Minions are going to clean up that game for us. So we will secure the W in our final battle. Definitely a very strong deck. As you guys can see, we, we beat the Royal Giant deck. We had the Giant deck on its back heel. So it is a very, very good ladder deck since it is very strong. And the Lava Hound only has to be level one and it still has the same effect. So here's the deck for you guys once again. You have the Lava Hound Balloon, Zap, Fireball, Goblin Gang, Tombstone, Mega Minion, and the three Elixir Minions. So if you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for some more future daily Clash Royale content. And I hope you guys go on and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace!